So today we've returned to an area in the Otway Forest Park with the community groups from the Friends of Eastern Otways and Angare and we've set up a study to look at how Grevillea responds to fire. So this area has been zoned as a bushfire management zone which means that it will possibly incur regular burning. So we've set up the study to look at how the Anglesey Grevillea will respond to fire. Yeah. So the Anglesey Grevillea is endemic to this area, which means that it only grows within the area, the bushland area behind Anglesey and Aries Inlet. It's unique in that it is the only Grevillea found in this area. It doesn't have viable seed, so it only grows through suckering. So it's quite an um, important plant in terms of the bushland recovering after a burn because it um, creates a stable base under the soil with all the root system that it creates through its suckering. One of the reasons this study is important is to work out the impact of fire because we don't want fire to mean that the population will end up being reduced in size. This particular study was set up in November of 2013 and we set it up before a planned burn and so we thought it was an opp opportunity to set up this study to then um, be able to measure the impact of the burn. So we've got the map and our GPS coordinates. We should be able to go and use that to find the plant and then we want to record information about the plant. So information like uh, is, the plant, is there a plant there? Uh, has anything grown? Like has there an Anglesey Grevillea plant grown in that spot? We've come back today to refine the pegs and reassess what has happened with the grevillea since then. So in some cases where there was no plant found after the burn, there are now some small plants present. So we've been able to record that additional information uh, a year and a half on from the burn about whether the, how big the plant is and the health of it, how many suckers there are, so how many offshoots, uh, of plant there are and any other information and again recording the photo so we've got that photo history of what's happened at each peg. Often they won't come back up in the same spot they'll come up somewhere else so that's why we're sort of measuring uh, how many suckers within a metre of where we pegged the original plant. There's a group of about eight of us who come out fairly regularly and um, we just really enjoy the environment and everyone feels that it's a useful contribution. The volunteers are really important to the work that we do. They provide a really great resource in terms of assisting us with the surveys. They have a wealth of knowledge as well so they actually help me understand more about the plants and the environment that we're working in as well because they know a lot about this area. That dry, a dry version. That's the skin of it, and, oh, it, yeah. Yeah, and it splits open. Well, I realise that uh, the grevillea is a very special plant and it's very vulnerable. Um, and I felt that by helping to survey the plants, um, it would um, help inform the way in which the whole vegetation in the area is managed. The information is recorded into the Victorian Biodiversity Atlas and then we can use that information to help inform decisions in the future. I think the uh, biodiversity of the area is very important. We don't always understand all the relationships between the different plants and so it's important that everything is considered um, worth saving, worth um, uh, especially endangered things. We don't yet understand fully how things interact.